What is going on everybody? This is Tuco from Music ID TV and this is Use The News. So, we recently posted a video called Three Reasons Why Your Last Music Release Failed and got a lot of comments about, well, what the hell is the right way to do it then? So, all that I could do was compile my take on the right way based off of research, based off of books, online resources, my own personal experience with my own releases, working with other artists on their releases, on what I think that you might want to know when you release your your music so here is five tips on how to release your music number one reverse engineer your music decide where you want your music to live is it on playlists is it in popular soundcloud communities is it on tv and film understand where you're trying to go and build a plan to try and get your music to that specific place it'll determine what decisions you make regarding your distribution regarding where you put your money and your resources so you really want to know where you want your music to live in my personal opinion. Number two, define your target demographic. The way I say do this is go by whose music you would probably be most compared to. Look at who their target demographic is and try to build a profile on who that person is. Do they travel a lot? Do they go to live shows? What type of brands do they buy? What are the demographics on this? Who's your target audience? I believe Corey did a digital dash video on this called how to find your audience. So definitely check that video Video out if you have not so you can have an idea on how to build a profile on your target demographic number three market test your music once you've actually defined who your target demographic is now it's time to try and test your music with that target demographic whomever you have access to now this could be via personally or via some other method to get people to listen and I would suggest having them rate your music from what they like the most to what they like the least don't just let people listen say I like it or I don't like it I like it or I don't like it because it, it, it varies you never know if somebody's gonna really be into what you do but at least let them know what they like the most and let them give you their top three so you have a couple of things in the chamber in case one of them takes off you know what the other ones might do in the market because you've market tested your music trust me most labels do this they have these algorithms and these techniques they do to define what they think might be a hit so it would do you great justice to market test your music. That's one thing I don't think enough of us do and I would greatly suggest doing it. Number four, find your early adopters. Your early adopters are more so people who are open to discovering new music. This could be vloggers, this could be bloggers, influencers, this could be tastemakers, anyone who kind of fits into your target demographic but is opening to discovering new music. Reason being, you don't want to spend all your money and resources on trying to reach people who only want to hear music they've already heard. Even if they do seem like they fit in your target demographic, you kind of want to look for the early adopters in that target demographic. So a subsector of that is my best suggestion when trying to build with the release of your music. I would definitely suggest focusing more so on early adopters. They'll help everybody else get accustomed to what it is you do. So. Stay there if you can. Number five, community building. Now, number five, one of the things I feel is just kind of overlooked in a lot of releases. We think that we want our music to do a certain thing or we want this attention instead of thinking we want this music to serve as a community building. We want it to kind of convey what it is we are trying to express with our art and have people buy into that. Once those people buy into that, we always want to have a way of reaching those people again whenever we release new music. So when you release your music, devise some sort of strategy where you're collecting some sort of email list, you're getting them to follow you on your social media, you're getting them to follow you on streaming services like Spotify, like Apple Music, which we know can kind of help when it comes to getting considered for playlists and so on and so forth. So I really suggest making sure they follow you on your streaming service if you do none of these other methods. Email list is always something because you can control that as well. So that would be number five. Make sure you start to community build with the people who have shown interest in your music. And number six bonus tip, I would say only start to build your team after you've started to gain some traction. One thing I've learned is that people will help you when you don't need their help. People will help you when you no longer need help in that specific field. So a lot of us need marketing. We may not be great at marketing. It may not be a strong suit of ours, but I would definitely suggest trying to learn marketing as best as you can because if you were to work with someone else in marketing and you had no clue if they were doing a great job or not, you would just only waste your time time or your money and or resources. So 
be sure you can define what it is you're working with when you're trying to acquire a team. You need to have some knowledge of what their role and position should be so you can really have a clear idea of what your expectations should be and see if they meet those. I know that's a little long, but I had to give you all a response to all the comments saying, what's the right way to do it? I say once you do this, you start community building, you build your team, and you keep community building, you kind of rinse and repeat. You want to do this properly. Of course, get research feedback on how these methods work, adjust, and work from there, but this is just a good start, a good mind space. Focus on who you're trying to reach. Focus on where you want your music to live, how people get there how people discover that music, and focus on continuously trying to reach them with the music they want to hear from you. That's it, and that's all. Beyond that, I am Tuco. You can follow me on Instagram at Tuco I am. And for more videos like this, share with a friend, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Sad now, bro.